Hello everyone. Today I want to showcase the new feature with your MacView 5500. A new feature is going to be the barcode scanner. Power on your device, press the power button. The barcode scanner will give you a little beep and a buzz to let you know it's activated. To start your ECG, press patient data or F1. It's going to prompt you to scan the patient ID or the barcode. I have a sample here. Simply place the barcode scanner close to the barcode, press the button, and slowly pull away. The system's going to cure for orders first. If there is an order, it'll populate the information. If there's more than one order, you'll have a list that appears here. You can select the appropriate order based on the timestamp. If there is no order available, the system will query for ADT information, which is your admission, discharge, and transfer information. That information will then populate as well. From this list, I'm going to go ahead and select my order. You'll notice then that that patient information is populated and that order field is filled. I can move through my screen here, adjust any of this information if I need to, select return, and I'm ready to acquire my ECG and hook up my patient. One of the nice features also, if I press F2, I can scroll down to my lead placement. This will give me my hookup advisor. What's nice about this is we have a green, yellow, or red quality. We're searching for the green quality. You can acquire an ECG with a yellow quality. However, you may have some underlying baseline wander, some artifact, which can interfere with the quality of the ECG. So always try to get a green quality hookup. To return to the main screen, press F2 and go to all leads. Also note the hookup advisor in the top right corner. Once we have a good quality signal, we're ready to acquire the ECG. That can be done in two ways, either from the keyboard by pressing the ECG button or from the acquisition module. To acquire, press the button. This is what we call the preview screen. It's basically a snapshot of that ECG and again is another quality checkpoint. If you're not satisfied with the quality from this screen, don't press continue. Instead, press F2 to cancel. It will return you to the live screen. You now can change the electrodes, perhaps do a better prep job to get a better quality. Once you are ready to acquire again, press the ECG button again. It will give you a prompt to say press ECG to record for this patient. Press ECG again. And again, we are on our continue or cancel screenshot screen. If we're satisfied with this shot, Hit continue or F1. If there are any critical test results, you will get a critical test result indication. Hit continue to acknowledge. The patient test will print and will also be stored in the file library. Once the test has done printing, select F4 or next patient. This will clear out the current patient demographics. To transmit the study, we want to use the more option, F6. That will take us to main menu, F3. And I can also do F6 again to move to my file manager, which will be F2. Once I've been my file my manager, I can select the study from my list. I can maneuver that down, use the enter to select that patient, and then F4 to transmit. It will tell you that it's transmitting and once it's successful. To return to the main screen, hit more, F3 main menu, resting ECG.